Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. And I'm here rolling solo dolo on this Madden 19 Browns franchise rebuild. All right, everybody, we have just finished Season 9. This is the Season 9 in review. We're basically going to go over stats and bullshit like that. Uh, we did just win the Super Bowl. Uh, we won the Super Bowl in Season 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This is our seventh Super Bowl in a row. Five straight for Zach, the Dream Weaver. Uh, we had two from Baker Mayfield before that. Um, let me go ahead and first thing I do is look at our stats for the season. So, all right. So we had Zach the Dream Weaver, 5,000 yards, 53 touchdowns, three interceptions. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. Uh, let's see here. Rushing. Oh my God. Carol Tall had 2,747 and 36 touchdowns, average 171 yards a game. We have the pain train. That's Carol, the magician tall. And that is Zach, the dream weaver. Uh, we actually have Virgil Payne. Virgil, the pain train pain. He is 28 years old. Actually re did resign him. A little bit expensive, but he's really good. And Tull got hurt a couple times this year. So he had 60 attempts. Uh, he averaged actually more yards per carry than him. So I'm going to keep him for now. Um, so for two more years, so when he's 30, he'll be gone. So he'll be his 28, 29 toll be around for a few more seasons after that. So, all right, then we'll go to receiving. We had the goodest man, Brady Goodman with 1000 yards and 10 touchdowns. Patrick, the Colonel Kerr, 1400 yards and 15 touchdowns. And D'Antoine, the headless horseman, Hanoian, 1500 yards, 17 touchdowns. Decatur, the Gator Bishop, his first year with the team. 20, uh, 550 yards and six touchdowns. And then Dion Prince, or the artist formerly known as Royals, 500 yards and four touchdowns. So they all did pretty good here blocking. How many sacks did my guys give up? A billion. Popic, oh, Denton Hoffman, Daniel. Whew, God. Hmm. That's that guy I think I just re-signed. But that's all right. He, I mean, he's good for a backup. So, all right, let's look at our defensive guys' stats. Uh, defensive. All right, so who had the most? We had Dion. Dion. Oh God, dude. So my, this guy got hurt. So he was he was on on track. Where is Beverly Jennings? Holy crap! Sidarius Ward had twenty six tackles, dude. He's a free agent. I'm letting him go. What's the point of me keeping him around? He doesn't do anything. One sack. Oh, gross, dude. All right, so we did have God, dude. These these that cornerback. I look at Lemur, dude. He's gonna be gone, but. Uh, Arian Muhammad, Ace Barton. Whew. All right, let's see. How many sacks do we have as a team? 15 sacks for Mikel. Who he's good, dude. Reed Golson, Gordy, Ryans. Okay, Samuel Jennings, Lamar, all right, whatever. Interceptions. Do you guys have any interceptions? Just two. God, why are my guys so trash at intercepting the ball? So, pass deflections. Uh, we had some we had some good guys there. So all right, let's go get kicking. Let's see. Gonzalez had I missed one kick. I shanked the shit out of it. He had one blocked extra point and one missed extra point. Punning. Vogel, this guy. Been around forever. Uh kick return. We had Malik Harrison. I oh, did pretty good, dude. Virgil the Pain Train Pain. And uh Virgil Pain. Oh, so cool. We're get, we're getting him some use of the return game as well. So all right. Let's go ahead and look at the awards for the season. Yearly awards. MVP, Carol the Magician Tall. And he, he only played 13 games or something. Zach the Dreamweaver, number two. We like it. Let's go here. Coach of the Year, Jonas J once again. Oh, shit, dude. AFC, Offensive Player of the Year, Carol Tall. So the Magician, the Dreamweaver. Any other guys on there? No. Defensive Player of the Year, Mikel and Trent. And Lam How is Lemur doing so good? He didn't do that good when he was a starter. Reed Goldston was on there. Rookie of the year. Did I have any rookies? I don't even think so, dude. Especially not on offense. Defense? No defensive rookies that made a difference. Best quarterback. The Dreamweaver. Best running back. The Magician. Best wide receivers. The Headless Horseman. And the Colonel. 
They are just, my team is just taking shit to town. Offensive linemen. We had some good offensive linemen. Dude, I don't know why Popic is in there at all. That is, that's lies. Defensive linemen, Mikel, linebacker, nobody, DBs, Lemur. That's a good nice guy, dude. Best kicker. Zane Gonzalez, yay! All right. I want to look at NFL records um, season. So this year, actually not this year. Uh, what year is this? He had over 5,000 yards. Did I even make it? No, he didn't. He didn't make it this year. So he still didn't break his record from there um, in a season. Past TDs. Oh, God, he had 67 a couple of Whew, look at him. Man. God damn, 2026 is the year we're in. So he has all of the records except for that one. All right, rushing yards in a season. Ah, oh, Carol the Tull. He broke the record of Ellis Barker from a couple years ago. Um, he even played the goddamn... Whew. Jesus, look at all this, dude. We Last year he had... Man, I can't even... Whew. Look at all those. That is great. Rushing touchdowns. Oh, he set the record on both. Breaking Ellis Barker's record. The Dyson. He's the guy who got money hungry. Receiving yards in a season. Colonel set it two years in a row. Not this year. I didn't throw quite as much. I had the Headless Horseman. That was from a few years ago. Receiving touchdowns. Nobody even came. Oh, Goodman tied Brandy Moss last year. All right. Look at that. Nobody this year. All right. Let's go to a game. Zach the Dream Weaver still has the all-time record. Nobody did anything this season. Passing touchdowns in a game. No one. Uh, the Dream Weaver tied it in 2022. Rushing yards in a game. Boom. He set the record. Look at, oh God, even Tall would have set the record. Whoo. Holy shit. So, all right. <laughs> so we had two games over 400. That was the AFC Championship game. Virgil Payne came in for one game, and he... Set almost set a record. He was set an NFL record before. Oh man, we are just tearing shit up. Rushing touchdowns in a game. Tall had six. Tied Ellis Barker's record. So that's good. Receiving yards in the game. No one's ever going to touch that shit, man. I'm never even coming close. Receiving touchdowns in a game. Not coming close to that either. Let's see here. Catches, nothing. So, all right. So there is that. We will go ahead, as you see, I'm still number one on the leaderboard, Legacy. There's nobody that's going to catch me now. Uh, we will go ahead and show everyone the final roster that won this championship. All right, so we have, for quarterbacks, we had Zach the Dreamweaver at 99 and Jeffrey Wilson, who almost became the starter a couple of years ago when Zach Weaver wanted more money. Uh, running backs, we got Carol the Magician Tall, Virgil the Pain Train, and then we have this guy. He was a rookie I drafted this year. He may creep on a come up. We'll see. I got him for a few years. I'm not worried about it. Samuel Mabin, he's, he's, I mean, he's getting better, but he's also getting old, so it's not really going to make a difference for a while. I'm really sad because this is Ping Pong Holloway didn't play all year, and this is, he's going to be gone in a minute. This is the Headless Horseman's last season with the Browns. And it's very sad for me. And the Colonel only has a couple years left. It's just becoming sad. It's becoming very, very sad. It's okay, though. The goodest man, Brady Goodman. He's getting up there in age. He's 28 years old. Holy shit. Man, we're going to have to we're gonna have to start looking for his replacement, too. Left tackle. Popic is out. We're going to use Daniel. We got a couple, we got a couple of young guys that will step up. Uh, left guard. That guy's pretty good. And we got that guy's finally gone. So we have a couple young guys. I've been drafting guys. Devlin is out, uh, but we still have Lowry. So that's fine. Uh, right guard. He's gone. So I kept this Hoffman and we have fine. Uh, so it'll be cool. Right tackle. He is gone. We have Jacob. So that's going to be our weak spot. We may have to draft a little bit. Uh, Mikel, of course, is wonderful. Jamil Fatinikun is uh, creeping. He's young. Reed Golson, Mike Gordy, both getting up there in age. Defensive tackles, Ryan and Stephen Hawkins, and this guy's old, so I'm letting him go. Left off as a linebacker. Samuel Jennings is staying. Nelson is staying. Barksdale, they're all young. Uh, middle of the linebacker, Javon Black, he's getting up there, dude. But Beverly, crap on a come up, and Mincy is, is on his way up there, too. I may still draft another middle linebacker, but I think this is Javon Black's last year with us. I drafted him. God, how many years ago? I don't even remember. 
Let me see if I can look. Uh, stats. He's out for 12 more weeks, this son of a bitch. Uh, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He's played eight seasons with us. Look, he was just a, he was a backup for many, many years. And he came in. He's been doing well. Eight seasons that dude's been with the team. I love that. Russell Linebacker, Sidarius Ward's gone. Hinton, he's creeping on a come up. He's almost as good. All right, so we got Trent and Ace Barton and Alvaron Nielsen. Grant's gone. So we got some pretty decent um, corners, fullback or fullbacks, free safeties. Lemur's gone, but we got the Garkin. Uh, kid, I think has one more year, but we got Muhammad and we got, I don't even know who the fuck Corey Washington is. Kicker, they're so old, but they're hanging out. Look at our picks. Why do I have another punter? Alan Madden. Oh, is it meant to be? I'm gonna take, get rid of Vogel and add Madden to Madden. All right, we have the last pick. We have two seconds, which are late round. So we really don't have a lot of picks this year. We have a lot of late round picks. Uh, so we may have to build the free agency or just trade some of them picks, which I'm not opposed to doing. So let me go ahead while we're in here and show you all the standings for the, all of the league. We got, uh, let's see, we'll just start with AFC North, which is us, 15-1. and one. They were the only team that made it. Oh, God, so good to see the Steelers and Ravens not make it. Uh, AFC South. The Colts and Titans both made it barely over 500. The East, just the Dolphins at 12 and 4. Patriots are bottom of the barrel team again. Uh, the Chargers and the Chiefs both made it. We'll go to the NFC North. Had the Bears and the Packers uh, making it to the playoffs. The Panthers and the Saints. And then NFC East is just the Eagles. And the NFC West is the just 49ers. So that's the teams that made the playoffs this season. And let me go ahead and just before we end this episode, just go ahead and show you who is leaving the team. Uh, these players I'm not going to resign. So this is who we're going to be losing. We're going to lose uh, Chinasa, who was just a free agent I picked up. Uh, Cameron Compton, another free agent I'm gonna, I just picked up. Uh, I did resign the pain train and I did resign the right guard guy, which I may still draft another one. He was a little older, but I just needed him for depth because I knew I was losing some old men. Uh, so we were losing Alan Lemur. These are all 30 year old dudes. Jaron Grant, Marshall Ping Pong Holloway, friends. See you later, buddy. It's been it's been good. Cooper Chase, uh, Sidarius Ward. He's young, but dude, he sucks. Like, how much money you want, dude? No. You only want a two-year contract on top of it. Like, if I can sign you... All right, let me let me see. If I can sign you for one and a half million, and I can sign you for four years at that price, I will keep... I don't need you, though. I just don't. You're not... You don't produce, dude. Your stats were terrible. Uh, Brian Bennett, he's old. He's out. He didn't... I tried to resign him, but he didn't want to stay. And then Flynn. Some of these linemen, like Flynn, Bennett, Chase... I've had a long time and they're all getting old. They got to go, but they've never been good. So, but that's really it. Uh, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Just want to show you everything that went into this season. Uh, you know, please make sure to like share, subscribe, leave me in the comments, what you, what you like to see different in these review videos and the off season, whatever. Very open to hearing your feedback. Leave me some comments. While you're at it, lie to your friends, please. Just keep lying to them and telling them they need to check us out because it's helping. People are coming our way. And once you're in, we lock your lock our teeth into you. And you just love us forever. Not really. It's fine. But for Jonas, I will catch you in our next season. Season fucking 10. The off season's up next. And then we're rolling through another season deep. But for now, I am...